Bonjour Hello and, and welcome to Taste, the Euronews culinary magazine. Today we're in Milan, Italy, in Sakaya, the house of sake, with Lorenzo Faraboschi, a sake sommelier and Japanese expert. Thank you for coming here. Minasan, uh, konnichiwa. The king of the place is sake, because actually the more you learn about sake, the more you understand that sake doesn't stand by itself. It's not a distilled product, it's a fermented product, like wine and, and, and beer. Sake is blowing everything. Everybody that actually tastes properly sake with food doesn't want to go back to wine, because sake uh, supports food doesn't match support. We will have some seafood with, uh, with sake because it's summer, fresh, so we need to, to have from fresh food. We'll have a super experience. So let's visit this uh, together. <laughs> We're heading to the Adriatic coast and the Venice Lagoon to discover what fresh produce the Adriatic Sea has to offer. Chodja Fish Market is one of the most famous in the peninsula where every morning you can find in large numbers both ordinary customers and professional chefs. A few kilometres to the south is the Delta del Po, a wild and beautiful region surrounded by water. It is here that Issy Coppola decided to set up her gourmet restaurant, literally on the sea. The restaurant is famous for its creativity and offers sake to its customers to accompany seafood dishes. We serve exclusively fresh fish caught in the local area from the Po Delta or the Upper Adriatic. We choose to combine some dishes with sake precisely because we believe that there is a philosophy that matches a country as far away as Japan with such an individual product, with the freshness of our products. Hello, hello. This is our chef, Alessio Bottin. Here we have a selection of our sakes. They are a great alternative to the classic wines we always serve. It's fusion cuisine, a non-native product combined with our own products. This results in completely different nuances. The combination produces heightened flavours. One of the chef's specialties is the pink oyster, Ostrica rosa, a variety of oyster that is only grown in the Po Delta. Served simply with samphire, it's the perfect match to go with a well-chosen sake. These two diners are both an amateur and connoisseur of good wines and food. They are delighted with this association, sake oysters. We have a sake that's high in minerals. It has a remarkable flavour. This one, together with the sweetness of the oysters, should be a perfect match. I'm sure after tasting it there will be a pleasant, lingering sensation. I'm very curious to try this combination. Our natural oysters have a slightly nutty taste, which will be very interesting with this sake, which has a strong flavour, but also a fullness in the mouth. Find all the episodes and bonuses on sake on Euronews and Euronews.com.